So, time to amp up the message machine, I guess. And who better to talk to about this than radio host Alex Jones? Hey there, Alex. Uh, lots to talk about. Secretary of Clinton obviously fighting for more funding for the State Department's media budget. But she says we are in a, quote, information war. She wants more money than most of the other international stations combined. Your take, Alex, on the sides, the many sides, I guess, of this war. Well, it's good to be here, and obviously I have the website InfoWars.com, so we're focused on this. I want to be clear. I'm an American patriot. I believe in my constitutional republic. I get a tear in my eye when I go to a football game and, and uh, hear the Star Spangled Banner. When the State Department talks about losing the info war and getting media dominance again in the world, they're talking about the select group of offshore globalists that in the last 50 years have used the United States as an engine of their own private corporate uh, war against sovereign countries and taking over the planet. This is all admitted. And so what's happened is so-called U.S. television and print media, the Washington Post, the New York Times, have lied about WMDs that didn't exist, have lied about terror threats. The former head of Homeland Security, Governor Ridge, wrote a book last year admitting they would issue fake terror alerts for political gain. And so the American people realize that our media doesn't speak for us and is being used uh, basically to propagandize not just us but the world. And so it's not just people in other countries that aren't buying into, quote, U.S. media. It's the American people. And the globalists are out of bullets. I mean, just last year when they were demonizing Rand Paul, in his Senate run, Politico called me, and they said, uh, well, what do you see being able to stop Rand Paul? Well, I said, nothing. I'm a, I'm a big supporter of his constitutional ideas. But I said, if you endorsed him, if the mainstream media endorsed him, that would hurt him. I said, you guys are out of bullets. No one buys into or supports what you're doing. You have lost the war for the hearts and minds because people don't trust you anymore. I want to replay really quick once again what Secretary of Clinton said. Uh, she's very clear about who is winning this war. Take a listen. Al Jazeera is winning. The Chinese have opened up a global English language and multi language television network. The Russians have opened up an English language network. I've seen it in a few countries, and it's quite uh, instructive. All right, but let's be honest. This is not to pat us on the back. This is more to drum up support on why she says the State Department needs more. Now, since she's watching Alex, or we hope she is, I'd like to hear your advice to Secretary of Clinton, both on what the message should be and how to better get it out there. Well, again, the people that have hijacked the United States in the last five decades uh, to be conservative do not speak for the people of America, and America has become... Uh, the demon of the world instead of being the apple of the world's eye because the world has realized that we now predominantly have become an engine of evil. And you're right to say that all Hillary is doing is hitting the panic button and saying, give us more funding. I mean, it came out years ago that tens of billions of dollars a year is spent domestically and internationally to implant globalist messages, corporatist messages in movies and TV and news and in newspapers and radio. And the jig is up. They know people are aware of that. So I would tell the State Department, stop lying, stop engaging in disinformation, stop attacking freedom, stop attacking other sovereign nations, stop being propaganda, stop being modern Joseph Goebbels Nazi propaganda ministers, and people might start thinking, you, uh, thinking of you as trustworthy uh, sources. You guys use the public faith and abused it to the point of, if you even tell the truth, no one believes you. I mean, if, if, if the U.S. government-controlled media tells the public the sky is blue, they think it's red. If they tell people something's up, folks think it's down. If it's black, it's white. No one believes this Orwellian propaganda system anymore. All right, so clearly, Alex, it's not that there's not money being spent, not like there are not channels out there. At the end of the day, it seems... Propaganda matters for money, for influence. Do you think most Americans realize this? No, Americans were brought up in front of television sets, basically trusting whatever they were told. But they're beginning to realize that and understand it. And that's why the audiences, as you mentioned earlier, are dwindling. Alternative media that it gives a different view, its ratings are going up, like RT and others, as the State Department is bemoaning. Uh, but the old line propaganda channels, are completely and totally discredited. Let's just look back four months ago. It came out 
that hundreds of billions of dollars of banker bailout money was given to U.S. and European media as direct cash payments. This isn't just CIA or State Department run channels targeting Afghans or the Arab world. Our media here is so laced with it and it's so cartoonish and so over the top that even the most brain dead people uh, are waking up to it. And, and that's why, though, the empire is striking back. And the U.S. media is calling for an Internet kill switch. Google changed its algorithm last week to start blocking Infowars.com. They are striking back in an attempt to not shut the media off like Egypt did overnight, but slowly start to choke it down. And I know, Alex, you have positioned yourself as an alternative media, and we've had you on RT for years, but, you know, we've got to bring this up. You have been noticed quite a bit lately by the mainstream media, and I want to play a quick clip that features you, and then we'll talk about it. But, but Charlie's tired of being held up like the devil. We've got the TSA putting their hand down people's pants. Infowars.com covers it all. We've got the banks bankrupting the U.S. Wait, 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 wait. We're sticking with, let's stick with Charlie because that's way too much for me. Charlie is mad because he's held up his own problem. He didn't steal 23.7 trillion. Okay, but we're just here to, to figure out what is happening with Charlie. That's what we're trying to figure out. All right, so certainly Charlie Sheen is in the news, I, on other channels at least. Um, but a couple of questions regarding that. I mean, first of all, do you think that he said what he said on your show um, because you're not like the rest, because you give a platform for people uh, to not have to be PC? And second, I'm wondering um, what you think about the fact that you're being so sought after now because of it. Well, just to be clear, I'm not bragging. Uh, he thought this was a five-minute interview. I've got to talk to Charlie. He was calling me during that last video clip, so I'll be talking to him within minutes. Uh, I'm friends with Charlie going back six and a half years. I did not know he would do that on my show. That was not planned. But, yes, he seeks me out because uh, he likes the alternative media, and Charlie is bigger than the whole Middle East situation right now. Probably shouldn't be that way, uh, but it is. But uh, absolutely, I mean, if I can have three million radio listeners a day, a million web visitors a day, and that's that's a conservative number. If I can put films out that are seen by hundreds of millions for free on the web, this is the new paradigm, and that's why the military-industrial complex that created the Internet here in the United States is moving to try to start incrementally curtailing it and shutting it down. But if we can get all the new media and the alternative media to talk about this attack on the web, they'll be unsuccessful just like Egypt. So the attack on the Internet and free speech and true challenges to the State Department's CIA propaganda machine is on. The fight is on. The alternative media is winning. So the system is coming in trying to censor us right now. All right. Well, Alex, you know, uh, when you do call Charlie back, please uh, send him our apologies for making him wait. Also, let him know if he'd like to come on our show, we can certainly give him a different platform uh, than he's been on on all those mainstream He'll media do it. stations. As he'd say, as he'd say, winning. All right. Well, well, we'll take it. Uh, as always, radio host Alex Jones. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.